Look at that right there. It's Christmas time. Legal. Legal. Guys, I have something absolutely massive. We're on jagged rock directly underneath the boat. Ugh. It's a Christmas miracle. Let me, oh, we came undone. Ow, now it's in my leg. This is what I should be doing right here. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. And as you can see, we're standing in front of Academy Sports and Outdoors. And as you can tell by what I'm wearing, we are doing another holiday fishing challenge today. I hope each and every single one of you watching this video is either having an amazing Christmas or you're about to have an amazing Christmas or whatever the case may be, Merry Christmas to each and every single one of you. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy holidays. We have not done a holiday fishing challenge since the 4th of July when we were in Texas and we did one with Lunkers TV. You guys loved that video and everybody in the comment section said the same thing. You guys wanted to see more holiday fishing challenges. So let's go inside. I'll explain the rules. If you do like these holiday fishing challenges, make sure you're smashing that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel because there might be a little Christmas giveaway in here as well. Let's get inside. I have never, and I say never, seen this Academy store this past. Never. It's like me and you just completely forgot this was two days before Christmas. Yeah. And everybody's trying to get that last minute holiday shopping in. So the rules for this challenge, if you guys are not familiar with it, we take a certain holiday, in this case it's obviously Christmas, and we use the main colors associated with that holiday to guide all of our fishing shopping decisions for that day. So for example, being that it's Christmas, obviously red is a huge Christmas color. Green apparently is a big Christmas color. Now my wife said earlier the blue was not a Christmas color. Am I missing something here? I think I'm gonna have to agree with her. Were you kidding me? Yeah. Somebody's calling me. Somebody's <laughs> like, that's not true. So we've got red and green for sure. Blue is kind of like a hard maybe, apparently. Maybe. Like white, silver, like accessory colors. Yeah, I can see that. Right? But no matter what we buy today, from our fishing rod to our fishing reel to the lures that we throw, everything has to fall within one of, at least one of the color parameters associated with Christmas. Now that we got all the rules out of the way, let's start by building our Christmas fishing combo. So you're telling me that blue, this is not Christmassy. Uh, not to me, man. When I put it in front of this red sweater, it doesn't look it's, like It's good. too contrasting. You need some red or green. But so, so you're telling me this is Christmassy? This is like, it's like green and white. More than blue. Is that, for, that actually does kind of go with the yeah, sweater way better. Like, yeah. I played myself <laughs> with my own sweater. And you're saying, okay, so this, okay, this is where I get confused. So you mean to tell me, I had a full on argument with my wife about this earlier. Look at these two rods. You're telling me this one is Christmassy, this one is not. That's what you're telling me right now. Yes. <laughs> My mind just exploded <laughs> live on camera. I guess I'm just having a hard time figuring this out. I'm not sure if I like either one of these, but I'm just saying, I feel like they could both be Christmas rods. They Apparently not. What about white? Dude, I was actually just looking at that one. I mean, that's definitely Christmassy because it's yeah. white and red. So this has got like almost like a candy cane feel to it. Dang, that's a contender. No, right I dig there. that one. You know what else might work? A Guggen Green rod, right? We that's got true. the green. The, that looks like it goes pretty well. I actually like both of these. That looks really Christmassy. That Veritas right there, like that red yeah, on nice. it, combined with like the pattern, it's got like gray and white. That's tough. Ugh. I might have to hold on to both of those right now. We might just get both and try to make a couple different Christmas combos. The Guggenrod is the Guggen go-to, so this is basically your seven foot two medium heavy fast action, so super versatile rod. And then this Abu Garcia is a six foot 10 medium light, so this would be more like a reaction rod. Now that we've got a couple rods as a base for two combos, we need a couple fishing reels that are still falling within the Christmas rules. Probably should have found a spinning rod that was Christmassy because there is no shortage of spinning reels that look Christmassy. I mean, we got silver, red. I mean, these, all these Shimano's right here. I mean, that one's got some gold, like tinsel. This one's got silver. Look at that one. That one's pretty Christmassy too. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Two right next to each other. Look at these two. Perfect. Those are perfect. Hear me out. If you took the green 
Guggenrod, and you threw this bad boy on it right there, you got the red, the black, the green, that's gonna be a heck of a Christmas combo right there. Agreed. And with this one, with the white rod, and this silver and red bait caster, that's gonna go perfect. We just built the two coolest Christmas combos of all time, I think. Agreed. Now that we've got the combos taken care of, now it's time to move on to the lures that we're gonna Now it's time to pick out the lures that we're gonna be using today. It's really difficult to find hard baits that have like all of the colors of a specific holiday. So we just try to find one that has at least one, maybe two. Hear me out. On this crankbait right here, you will see there is blue, which is a debatable Christmas color. There's some green right below the blue. There's white. And then on the underside, can you see the chin right there, Andrew? Oh, yeah. There's like a little orangish red, kind of. I'll count it. I'll count it. I mean, this is the closest thing I've found to a Christmas crankbait, but I'm going to keep on looking. We are going to get one of these. Oh, man. Okay. I know I just said it was hard to find Christmas colors. You look at this and tell me that that's not made for a Christmas challenge right there. That's perfect. It's a little paddle tail swim bait blood red it's literally called bloody white that is just perfect and i've got an idea how we're gonna fish these things it's going to be really cool where we're gonna be going fishing today is actually known for some crazy top water bites so we need a top water in the mix boom that is as Christmassy as it gets you got the red the white and then on the sides you got that silver striping right there it almost looks like gift wrapping paper yeah, or something. Perfect. That is a very Christmassy lure right there. The funny thing is, it's not even a specialty color. This is what Hedon has been making this color for literally forever probably, but that is perfect for this challenge. Legal. Legal. All right, we grabbed all the gear. We're ready to check out. We're gonna go stand in this two hour checkout line. Next stop is the river. See if we can catch any fish with all this stuff. All right, folks, we made it to the river, obviously, which is where we're gonna be doing the fishing portion of today's Christmas gear fishing challenge. Check out how combo number one ended up. Ended up taking some green braid that I had, green, red, green rod. I think this turned out a solid combo. I did take the go-to back and I switched it out for a muscle because I knew I was gonna be throwing a certain rig today. Boom, baby, it's Christmas time. Look at that. That looks just like a Christmas tree. You tell me, that's there's nothing more Christmas than that. I mean, you got the little, little blades on there. Looks like little ornaments hanging off the tree. You got the red, you got the white little candy cane pattern going on here. Holy moly. A-Rigs catch giant fish in this river all the time. I don't know about that, dude. Look at that, show that in the water. That looks absolutely ridiculous. Right yes, there. it does. The fish aren't gonna know what hit them. Dude, watch it get nailed. Uh, watch us catch a massive fish on that ridiculous A-Rig today. Combo number two, I think probably ended up being the best Christmas combo. Look at that right there, folks. Let me get that lure out of the way. Look at that combo. The white, the silver, the red, the white rod, that thing is clean. In fact, it's so Christmassy that it makes this little crankbait look a, little, a lot less Christmassy when you put it right next to it. It does. So we got the rods rigged up, the combos built, we've got all of our lures here. There's only one thing left to do, and that is to catch some Christmas fish. If you guys were wondering, we're legal now, boys. I got the old throwable. That way if Andrew goes overboard, I just, here you go, buddy. We also made a little bit of a fire extinguisher upgrade. Shablam, we learned our lesson from last time. God, the river boat ramp claims another boat deck. It's impossible to get in the boat at this ramp without just completely muddying up what you're gonna be standing on. I don't have live scope today, Andrew. I don't know how I'm gonna manage, man. You gotta get used to it, man. So the river is not running today. It's not generating, and actually hasn't been generating all week, so, which is kind of unusual. The thing is, when it's running, the bite is normally better, but there's a billion birds over there right now. That would indicate there's a crap ton of bait in the water up here. 54. 54, literally perfect for this type of fishing. These fish normally get fired up as soon as the water temps get in the 50s, but mid 50s is kind of best. Well, I gotta throw the A-Rig first, right? Got to. Dude, look at this thing. Dude, you're gonna get nailed. It's gonna be a big one if it eats that. It's gonna be one of the red ones too. 
calling it. Dude, that's gonna be the that's gonna be interesting whether the red or the white actually gets hit. This is my inaugural cast with this combo. I have not set it up in the least. Gah! Okay. The old Abu Black Max is doing okay. Whew. Well, now I'm just nervous because there are some monster fish in this river. And this is one of those lures that really gets the monsters to come out and play. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we can loosen her up even more. I can't wait to tie that top water on. Like as the evening starts to set in, on this river, man, if the A-rig ain't catching the giants, it's top water. I mean, it's one of the two. The water clarity is actually a little bit cleaner than it normally is. With this A-rig, I mean, there's so much flash on it. It's gonna get crushed. It's just gotta make it in front of the right fish's face. There's a million birds over there. Find through a bird's nest. Dang it, Black Max, how could you do it to me? You're supposed to be one of the most reliable reels ever. It's bad when you can't even see the bird's nest, yeah. you know? When it's like so deep in the spool that you have to like go digging for it, that's when you know. Well, while we're figuring out that nonsense, let's uh, throw this little crankbait around. This is actually a perfect area. All this rock and stuff right here, there's as much rock as you see underneath the surface. So a little banger like this goes banging through all those rocks hence the name see how this one cast just fresh out of the box sure Ooh, i thought it was gonna be bad but we made it we made it through this rod is uh it's a little short it's a 610 which i guess it's like a like a twitch rod kind of deal like one of those the short butt though would be perfect for a kayak one of the things I love about the river and specifically this part of the river is we were just sitting out here in some deeper water throwing a rigs trying to get a big hybrid or big largemouth. And as we push closer to these little rock channels right here, then we start having the opportunity to catch spotted bass as well as largemouth. And then really just anything could be mixed in there. But you got all these different species of fish that are big and aggressive all like right next to each other. It's so cool. Okay, let's maybe tighten that up and loosen that up. Okay, we're still getting her dialed in. It's all right. God, that rod is sensitive. I'll tell you that. You can tell by how much the tip's shaking. No! That's the downside of the rocks. Why I only bought one banger, I'll never understand. Well, let's go get it, shall we? We're going shallower to get this thing back. Oh, <laughs> that got shallow quick hey this is one of the advantages of the skiff though we are in it right now oh come on that should come out i see it there we go dude look how skinny we are right now this is so sick and i can tell you fish absolutely get up here in this super skinny water like this dude i'm gonna sit here for a minute and just try to fish around this is so crazy i'm normally way too scared to come up this far but since we're sitting right here look at all this guys all this rock right here underwater you know fish are all over this. No. No, we're not losing her. We're not losing her, Andrew. Ha, ah, ha, ah. What about if I get up here? Yeah, I got it out. <laughs> Look at this. This is what I should be doing right here. Except for the fact that I'm gonna end up in the river. Dude, this is honestly so sick. This is the coolest thing of all time. I'm gonna still sit right here. Well, dude, I can see everything, man. Dude, sight fishing is gonna be insane on this thing. I mean, the bass on bed are literally, they're not gonna have a chance. We're gonna be able to see them, get real close. Oh man. That's pretty sweet. It's so exciting. And I just feel like a, like a better fisherman standing up here. I feel like if people see you doing this, they're like, oh shoot, he's like, I agree. he's pretty serious, you know? You did. Man, this reel's trying the bird's nest on me. I don't understand why. Forgot to mention, we found some red Cajun line to put on this reel. And if I do say so myself, that is the perfect complement to what we already had going on with this combo. I mean, that thing is so dang Christmassy, it's insane. Well, 
We talked about the rods a little bit when we bought them. We didn't talk about the reels at all. This is a Lose Laser MG. It's a 75 to 1 gear ratio. Pretty standard reel that you're going to find for the price point, especially. I can't remember how much it cost, but it was pretty inexpensive. The other one's obviously a Abu Garcia Black Max, which has been around for a long time. But so far, the Christmas combos are doing just fine. It's the fish that need to shape up. That's okay. We know exactly what to do. We're going to find some fish. We'll whip them into shape. And this is what we wanted to skip for right here, folks, for what we're about to go in. I mean, I don't know if y'all can see that right there, but that's jagged rock directly underneath the boat. Oh, there's my crankbait. Boop. Gotcha. Well, heck, I might as well make a couple casts right here, right? I'm just waiting to look down. It's like a six-pound largemouth just looking at me. Oh, we're going right over a gigantic rock. Oh, how did we not hit that? Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of go straight back. If you could just kind of keep us off that rock a little bit. Look at this maneuverability right here, bro. You're nailing it. Well, man, we picked this area apart and we have not really been touched much. I would say it's time for a hardcore spot move. We are back in business with the A-Rig, the candy cane Christmas themed A-Rig. I am ready to get rocked. Oh my Lord, what is that? I got, yes, I think so. No, I gotta have something, but it, I'm off. I don't know what just happened. I had to have had a tree or something, but dude, that was the oddest thing ever. Dude, I don't know, man. That was kind of weird, man. Not sure if I mentioned this earlier, guys, but this is the new Guggen Squad Shad Wagon. This is our version of the Umbrella Rig, the A-Rig, and I couldn't be happier with this thing. I'm so glad we finally made one. I've been wanting one for a long time myself, and boom, that's one of the main things you can find at GuggenSquad.com. When you use my code LOJO, you save 10%. Thank you! <laughs> that was a good one they come creeping there's creeping 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 they get right next to us they're like love your videos <laughs> thank you thank you what about way out here We're gonna have to put that top water on soon, man. Dude, it's about that time. I know, I just feel like, I don't know. I should've got three combos. So I wanna throw all three things at one time, but I can't. I'm gonna pick that A-Rig up again in just a minute, but a couple little specific spots over here I wanna hit with this crankbait. You can see where it goes from like being, you know, steep rock wall to like incline. And this little spot right here is always good. I know what it is, man. <laughs> The fish are just being some straight up Grinches right now. They just don't have that Christmas spirit. So if that's the case, though, that means all we have to do is believe. That's how every single Christmas movie ends, is the person who previously didn't have Christmas spirit all of a sudden got some, and it fixed everything. See that A-Rig? Why don't you toss this thing around a little bit? Out of the back, Mr. A-Rig. We're back out to that deep water. I'm throwing A-Rigs out the front. Andrew's throwing that crankbait out the back. We got double duty action on these Christmas combos right now. Got about 45 minutes of light left. We need the fishing to turn on and we need it to turn on now. Oh, I just got crushed. Right off that big old tree. That might be the Christmas tree for us. Dude, look what he did to my line. Like he knocked my A-Rig sideways and put a huge knot in it. That was a violent hit right there. Right off this tree. We on, baby. We're on. On the Christmas A-Rig and he is digging. Oh, he's digging. He might be hooked weird. I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's a Christmas miracle. 
What is it? It's a hybrid. Whoa. Look at all that Christmas in his face right there. Dude. He ate the red one. He ate the red one. He had the Christmas spirit. And we had the Christmas spirit. You gotta believe. Look at how, oh, hold on. Whoa. Oh, he just, he just crapped all over the new boat. He just slung poop all over the place. Oh, nice. Wow, that's not nice, buddy. Come here. No. Look at how fat that fish is. Absolute butterball on the red one. That's the one that he ate. You called that. Yes, sir. Wow. We are so happy to see this little short, fat fish. And you know something? I almost think this is a, this is a striper. Well, no, the lines are kind of broken up. Hybrid, striped bass, white bass, whatever you want to call it. Man, we are sure glad to catch that bass right now. Woo! The skunk's out of the boat, folks. Big old butterball. The thing about these fish, they roll deep. So if there was one on that tree, I know there's probably a bunch, and there's most definitely a giant one in there. Just to remind everybody, that was on this umbrella rig right here. The Christmas tree is what we should call this. Yep. That's just a straight up Christmas tree. Let's get back in there. All right, well, it's been long enough. We've had this boat for one day. So I have to try to catch a fish off this thing. And if I fall in the water, one, I'm gonna get hurt. Two, I'm gonna be freezing because this water is like 54 degrees. And three, I'm gonna look like a mega idiot as well, which is nothing new. See, the advantage of being up here is though, I can cast like around top of that tree and I can retrieve it out so it doesn't get snagged because they're like in the tree. I mean, they're right there on it. Dude, a big one might like yank me off this thing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to take a low. Dude, I just got, I let go. I stopped the reeling and I just got cranked. Almost pulled the rod out of my hand. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, I did the same thing that happened a minute ago. Look, he almost, he almost stole the white one. I mean, they're, you gotta make a certain cast. They're like right on top of the tree. Like I'm having to get it in there like that. And then immediately kind of bring it out and then slow it down. And that's right where they are, I think. I am having to go slow with it though. They're very lethargic, which is unusual for this species. They're normally very aggressive. This is probably gonna get snagged in the tree, but let's just see what happens. Yeah, I just think a little smaller might even be better. All right, folks, so it got a little dark on us. Don't let the camera fool you. It's actually almost pitch black dark right now. But this Christmas fishing challenge is not over yet. Let's head back to the backyard pond. All right, folks, we made it to my backyard pond, and we still have two more Christmas lures to check off of today's list. We still got the square bill crankbait and the top water to hopefully catch a fish on. I do admit I lost the Christmas crankbait that we started off with, but I replaced it with this one because it looks almost exactly the same. This whole half of the pond is shaded right now, so I'm thinking the top water is gonna come into play really soon. But first, I wanna throw this little banger around some. Oh my God, what was that? I don't even understand. We haven't been fishing the backyard pond very much lately, so I would hope that the bass are pretty active. That's fish. Oh, we're on baby. And that feels pretty decent boys guys that feels like a good fish i am not joshing with you right now is this even a bass guys i have something absolutely massive Wh what do i have it's a turtle no and he's caught on the hand or he's caught on the back of the head my guy how did you manage this Oh no, he is, he's caught on his hand. I'm sorry, buddy. Let me, oh, we came undone. Ow, now it's in my leg. And there he goes. What just happened? Ow, that was kind of in my skin. Well, uh, does that count as a fish catch? Are you kidding me? How did that even happen? It must've like rolled right over his back or something. 
I knew it wasn't a bass. It couldn't have been because it just wasn't fighting the right way and it never jumped or anything. But then for a second, I thought it was a gigantic catfish or something that was just sitting on the bottom. Well, I'm counting the turtle. Sue me, I'm counting it. Mainly because I just really want to throw this top water some. I would love nothing more than to end this challenge on a high note with a top water fish out of the backyard pond. What about over here? Well, there's still a little sunlight left. Could it be that the sunlight is warming up some of this water and that's where the bass are? Oh, just got popped. I just got hit. Oh, got hit, just got hit again. I, I'm on. You're kidding me. A three bite fish. He could not leave that walking bait alone. He had to get it. We've got to land this fish, guys. I'm water skiing him in. There he is. That aggressive little joker. I can't believe it. It's so cold. And this fish just ate a top water. Gonna have to be delicate here. This is one of those situations you gotta watch out for. These little guys, they love to throw hooks and anglers. And there we have it, folks. I'm honestly a little shocked, but boom, we did it. We officially caught some type of aqua life with each Christmas lure. And since that bass ate topwater, I'm actually gonna let him go back in the pond. Normally we've been culling them out at this size, but since he had the guts, the nerve to hit a topwater three times on one cast, I'm giving him another chance at life. Mm. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And that is a fitting end to this incredibly holiday festive Christmas challenge. Wow, guys, that was a whole lot of fun, but I think I forgot to give you guys the giveaway information earlier in the video. So here it is. One of you lucky individuals is gonna get a chance to win both of these fishing reels that I bought for today's video and all of the lures that I bought in today's video. I would give you the rods too, but they are a pain in the neck to ship and they cost like $200 per rod to ship. All you have to do to enter to win this little Christmas giveaway is hit the thumbs up button liking this video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the bell notification enabled. I typically announce the winners of these giveaways in the next upload, whether it be in the description of the video or the comment section or sometimes I'll even say it in the video. That's why it's so crucial for you guys to subscribe with the bell notification enabled because I can't give this stuff away to one of you guys if nobody ever claims these prizes. Anyways, folks, I had a great time filming this Christmas video. I hope you guys had a great time watching it. And once again, I really, really hope that you had an amazing Christmas with your family or with your people or with your friends or with your wife, your husband, whatever. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. And thank you so much for watching these videos, guys. I love you. I will see you next time. I'm out.